Today we will be teaching you about multiplying and dividing fractions. You will need to know this skill in life for recipes. Some days you might need to know how to make a larger or smaller batch than the recipes list. To do this, you will probably need to know how to multiply and divide fractions. Multiplying and dividing fractions is simple. To multiply, all you do, all you have to do is multiply straight across. You multiply the two numerators and the two denominators. Once you get that answer, you may need to reduce it to be a simplified fraction. To divide, you leave the first fraction the same, and instead of dividing, you multiply it. So you leave the first fraction alone, and for the next fraction, you switch the numerator with the denominator. Then you multiply straight across and reduce it until it's simplified. For example, if there is a recipe for chocolate chip cookies that makes 12 cookies per batch, and say you need a three bat to make three batches of 36 cookies for your party. If there is one and a half cups of sugar per batch and you need three batches, how much sugar will you need? There is a mixed number, like in the problem where the number is one and a half, you need to make it into an improper fraction so you can multiply it. To make one and a half an improper fraction, you must take the denominator and multiply it with the whole number, then you must add that product with the numerator. In this case, we would take our denominator 2 and multiply it with the whole number 1. The product is 2. Next, you must add the product 2 with the numerator of 1. The answer is 3. Then you simply put 3 over the original denominator of 2. The fraction you will multiply is 3 over 2. You must also learn that when multiplying a whole number with a fraction, you have to put the whole number over in the number 1. For this problem, the whole number is 3, so you would put 3 over 1. Now you are ready to multiply. Take 3 over 1 times 3 over 2, and you should get 9 over 2. Now, 9 over 2 must be converted into a mixed number. To do this, you need to... You need to see how many times 2, which is the denominator, goes into 9, the numerator. Nu numerator. 2 can go into 9 four times with the one left over. You can take the one left over and put it over the original denominator of 2. So you have 4 with a half left over. The answer to the problem would be 4.5 cups of sugar needed for 3 batches. We hope we helped you learn how to multiply and divide fractions.